I am Mixer Johnny and this is the top 10 Ghostbusters monsters and I'm going to be including all of the Ghostbusters monsters. Number 1, the Ghost Bride. Yes my love, I will be yours. <gasps> and you will be mine! <laughs> Hands off my man witch! He's mine! Someone made a wish in a wishing well for a wife. But it turns out it was a monster called the Wish Giver, who used his wish to try to steal his life energy by creating the Ghost Bride. Now the guy who made the wish needs to get the help of the Ghostbusters to stop her. Number 9, Craniac and the Cinnabites. Flash. To our specimen, a suit of skin. To us, sculpting clay. A blank canvas. Promising infinite aesthetic possibility. Brethren, let the procedure begin. An author called Jane Klein made a deal with the demon. Whatever story he did would come true, and it turns out his most popular work was on Craniac and the Cinnabites. Now Craniac is going to try and take over the world by disfiguring people with plastic surgery. Number 8, Goze. Goze is a godlike ghost who wants to destroy the world. She has terror dogs and she was the main villain in the first Ghostbusters movie. And she's tried to destroy the Ghostbusters. Number 7, the People Busters. The People Busters are ghost versions of the Ghostbusters who bust people. From a ghost version of New York. <laughs> Uh-oh, Sorry we can't stick around, but keep in touch! Number 6, The Sandman. The Sandman wants to stop all wars in the world by putting everyone in the world to sleep for all eternity. Because if everyone's asleep, no one is fighting wars, so in that time, the world will enjoy peace. He uses sand so powerful it puts people to sleep forever and whatever they're dreaming of comes to life in the real world. No! 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 Don't worry, it's all just a bad dream. Number 5, Sam Hain. Sam Hain is a spirit of Halloween. Sam Hain thinks the ghosts have been treated badly, so he wants to take over the world with him as leader by using an army of ghosts. He wants Halloween to last forever. He is a godlike ghost, and like Darkseid, he doesn't let defeat bother him. Sam Hain is one of the only ghosts that fought the Ghostbusters more than once. No! It can't end this way! I won't go back! I won't go! I won't! This I gotta see. Well, what's happening? I bet he's fuming and raging like the rest of them. See for yourself. But it's just sitting there, like it's waiting. Waited twelve hundred years to be free. We'll wait for its chance to come again. Number four, the Gwendo. A Gwendo gets a kid to do bad things, and the more he does bad things, the more he looks like a Gwendo. Until he becomes a Gwendo, and the cycle goes on. The Gwendo appeared in the Extreme Ghostbusters, making him the only ghost that appeared in both series. No, Alec, that thing isn't your friend. It's using you. Look at it, Alec. See it for what it is. Is that what you want to be like? Is it? Is it? Number 3, The Boogeyman. The Boogeyman used to scare Egon back when he was a kid. Which is why he started studying the supernatural, which led up to him being a co-founder of the Ghostbusters. The Boogeyman is one of the only monsters to fight the Ghostbusters more than once. Boogeyman isn't a ghost, so the Ghostbusters proton packs don't work on him. 
and because of them also being like a real life childhood to enjoy, and there's someone who was treated badly in real life and got scarred for life because of it, and because of me having a conscience, that's why I say the boogeyman is worse than the grunto. It gave the guns and closes to finally defeat the boogeyman, and kids everywhere will be glad that the Ghostbusters bust the boogeyman. A little. And you know what? I don't mind admitting it. All right. Yeah, where did you go? Number two, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Ghouls they wanted the Ghostbusters to pick the destroyer by what they're thinking. Ray thought back of a memory of him roasting Stay Puff Marshmallows at Camp Wakanda. So that's why the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man came to life. They managed to destroy him by crossing the streams in the first Ghostbusters live action movie. In the real Ghostbusters, he became a friend to the Ghostbusters. In the real Ghostbusters, he became a good guy. He even helped the Ghostbusters stop a giant monster called Mary the Mantis. He even helped them do a commercial for the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man so they can get some money to give to his children's hospital. Before I review our top pick, here's a few humble mentions. No currency required, no payment do I need. Satisfaction completely guaranteed. Number one, Slimey. He is the most iconic Ghostbusters ghost. In the real Ghostbusters, he became a friend to the Ghostbusters. Slimey became friends with the Ghostbusters because he was lonely and the Ghostbusters were the only people who ever paid any attention to him. We got friendly with him and gave him the name Slimey. Maybe he's just lonely, and you guys are the first people who ever paid any attention to him. We need to give you a name. Just to annoy Peter, what say we call you Slimer? <laughs> Peter's relationship with Slimer is like Carl's relationship with Steve Vericle and family matches. He might get annoyed from him from time to time, but deep down, Peter really does care about him. I refer, of course, to that unsung member of the Ghostbusters, Slimer. Slimer? I never liked you. And this is my popcorn, Aww. Spud. Oh well, win some, lose some. We'll have more on this and other stories right after this word from our sponsor. Do you agree with that touching list? Okay. Please show me more ideas for other top 10 videos you want me to do.